in the last videos we looked into how we can create a basic oscillator model, change the parameters of this model and visualize it over time. In this video we're going to look into how we can create larger, more complex physical models. Going back to MIMS, let's delete the oscillator that we created before and the parameters that we had for it. And we'll click on the Generate Structure button, which leads us to a window in which we can create topologies for strings, meshes, and so forth. And we can decide either to use hard-coded or indexed labeled parameters. So let's go ahead and create a 50 mass string. So we can see that this has created the physical parameters, it's created the material points, fixed points and masses, and all the springs that we need for this string. So now all we need to do is decide which mass of the string we want to apply our force input to, and which mass of the string we would like to listen to. So now we can compile this into gen code, we'll call it string, and let's go back to the max patch to get this string working. So we'll refer to string in the gen code. Make sure that we now have the new code for the string. So this is the generated DSP code for this object. And now we want to change anything that we need in the surrounding max patch to be able to use this string. So this model is going to contain 52 physical modules. So we can change the size of the motion buffer. We can actually see all the modules here. And this should be all we need, basically. And there it is, a string that we can now start to tune and play with. 